The championship battle between Kala Rovenpera and Elvid Evans heated up on stage 10 as rally leader Rovenpera made a mistake. Oh! oh. Yeah, I just, uh, I just been in one slippy breaking, which was uh, much more slippier than I expected. Um, it's definitely tricky to know where the guys uh, pull the, the dirt on the road. The incident halving his advantage over championship rival Evans, but the Welshman's momentum came to an abrupt end on stage 11. Oh, oh no! No! no. Ah. Let's take another look at this then, Julian. It's just one. Oh, so simple. And you can see from the aerial shot that he's uh, taken out somebody's barn there. Shed so, door. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh. The crash happened just before Robin Perra started the stage. And the new champion elect immediately decided to back off, dropping another 22 seconds and ceding the rally lead to Thierry Neuve. Uh, really, really shame for Elfin and, and Scott. I hope they're both OK. I, I saw them on the side of the road, so I hope they're OK. Um, it's a shame they put on a good fight and uh, it would have been really tricky for us to, to keep pushing. It was a devastating moment for Evans, who, barring a miracle, now looks certain to end a third season of WRC as the vice champion. Yeah, obviously a, a big disappointment and a, and a shame for what happened. Um, grip felt OK when we when we came up to it. We braked quite OK for the corner as well, in fact, but uh, just at the moment to turn in and it, it decided it was going straight. Unmoved by the drama, Nerville was on fire, fastest on stages 10, 11 and 12, and unlikely to be challenged for the win. With Robin Perra slowing and plenty in hand over third place Lloyd Tannock, who dropped his car into a ditch in darkness on the final stage of the day due to a loss of hydraulic pressure. Behind the top trio, things were shifting. Seb Ogier was feeling better following his puncture and lack of motivation on day two, and was now flying in his Yaris again, overhauling both Taka Katsuta and Temo Sunanen to move up to fourth. Sunanen and Katsuta were trading positions too, the Japanese driver pulling ahead on stage 12 and full of praise for his mechanics. Obviously the engineer has changed my, uh, my uh, brain quick, so now finally works uh, getting better. So. In the Rally 2 category, a titanic battle was raging. Emil Lindholm and Rita Hammerleinen had struggled since switching from Skoda to Hyundai mid-season, but were just toning on from the flying Adrian Formo, maximising his last outing of the season in his M Sport Fiesta, before stepping up to the Rally 1 Ford Puma for the last round in Japan. Formo, who isn't registered for WRC Championship points this weekend, outpaced them on stage 13 to take the lead as they ended the day separated by just six and a half seconds. So as darkness descended in Germany, it was Nerville with a 26 second lead from Robin Perra, with Tannock third ahead of Ogier, Katsuta and Sunin. Gregoire Munster is on course to equal his best WRC result in seventh, ahead of his M Sport teammate Pierre Louis Lubey and the WRC2 front runners. Lynch, four right, sharp, middle, into.